Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. Today we're going to discuss subtopic 8.1 until 8.4, Physics of Matters. This discussion will be conducted in two languages. Here are some tips about this subtopic. So for this subtopic, selalunya kita akan diberi graph, graph F versus theta L, and then another graph is stress versus strain. So make the uh, label here F delta L. And then yes, stress and then strain. So, apakah physical quantity yang kita boleh deduce daripada graph ni? So, of course lah kita akan cari gradient and then area under the graph. So, gradient ni bersamaan dengan apa? Force constant K. So, dia datang daripada equation F equal to K delta L which is Hooke's law. And then kita compare F Y. This one is M. This one is X. Y equal to M X tambah. C. Therefore, nampak tak gradient M So, M equal to Ini gradient equal to K Force constant So, the SI unit is Newton per meter How about area under the graph? So, area under the graph Kata dalam hitam you know red So, ini bentuk uh, triangle So, area under the graph Is U equal to 1 per 2 darab tinggi dan lebar kan F darab dengan delta L So, F darab dengan delta L is equal to U, strain energy. So, since strain energy, you need the joule. Okay. So, kalau kita ada graph stress versus strain, uh, dia punya gradient is Y equal to stress per strain. So, we rearrange. So, stress equal to Y strain. Compare. Y equal to MX tambah C. Therefore, gradient kita adalah yang modular. So, the SI unit is pascal ataupun newton per meter. So, area under the graph pula. So, kita lorikkan bentuk triangle juga. So, bentuk triangle 1 per 2 darab dengan stress darab dengan strain. So, ini kita panggil sebagai strain energy per volume. Unit dia adalah joule per meter per meter per meter. Okay. Lagi, apa yang kita discuss dalam satu topik ni ataupun dalam uh, topik 8 ni secara generalnya kita belajar pasal uh, heat conduction and then also expansion expansion of solid, liquid and gas tapi gas kita tak bincang kita belajar uh, expansion of solid and liquid so what you have to know uh, solid dia ada alpha, beta and gamma which is beta is 2 alpha, gamma is 3 alpha what is alpha? alpha is linear uh, expansion ok So, expansion of liquid pula hanya melibatkan gamma only. Okay, that's it. Okay, question number one. Figure shows the elongation of wire as tension is increased. Calculate the work done to elongate the wire to 9mm. So, what we're going to do now, kita kena cari area under the graph. So, basically, ada two shapes here. First, a triangle and then another one is trapezium. Okay, so kita kena cari... Uh, different uh, area under the graph lah so kita tulis konsep put down is equal to area whole sentence eh under the graph ok so ada dua area under the graph here so yang triangle 1 per 2 darab dengan lebar is 5 so here is 5 and then here is 9 ok 5 kali 10 kuasa negatif 3 darab dengan tinggi 60 newton And then plus trapezium 1 per 2, 2 cc tambah 60 tambah 80 and then multiply dengan 9mm. Okay, so what do you get? Sepatutnya you all akan nampak 0.43 joule. So this is the work done, uh, the work done to elongate the wire. Okay, question number 2. Kalau kita tengok dekat gambar ni, kita ada 10kg. Kita gantung dekat wire. So, kita namakan let's say this is wire 1. And then 5kg pula kita gantung dekat wire 2. And then the length of the wire is 0.2 meter. And also bawah ni pun 0.2 meter. And then given to us area. Area of the wire is 5mm square. Soalan dia kata, calculate strain of each wire. So, dia nak strain. Strain simbolnya begini. Strain. Okay, and then the second one is extension. Extension is delta L. So, for each wire. So, untuk soalan A, kita keluar dulu equation untuk strain. So, strain dapat daripada Y equal to stress per strain. Strain is equal to uh, stress per yang modulus. Which is stress is 
cost per area darab ini yang modulnya so this is the equation for strain MAT and so this is the equation for strain and then dia nak untuk each wire so let's say untuk wire 1 so the equation for strain is strain is equal to F over AY yang modulus so what is F so F akan jadi untuk wire 1 akan jadi 15 kilo 15 kali dengan 9.81 uh, Y sebab wire atas tu menampung juga berat orang yang bawah wire 2 ok so sekarang ni A area is 5 kali 10 kuasa negatif 6 darab dengan yang modulus 1.1 times 10 power of 11 given in the question ok so bagi dapatlah strain untuk wire 1 2.68 kali 10 kuasa negatif 4 tak ada unit ok so 5 mm ni kita kan kita nak tukar dia so 5 times 10 power of negative 3 kuasa 2 so dapatlah 5 times 10 power of negative 6 meter square ok and then for wire 2 pula strain dia akan jadi F over AY also so F akan jadi 5 saja kali dengan 9.81 so what is F? F is force uh, force apa ni? so you all punya syllabus this force is refer kepada tension tensile stress ok so tensile mean tension so refer kepada tension kalau metal mungkin free body diagram tension is upward W is downward so tension tu sama juga dengan W so uh, 5 kali 10 kuasa negatif 6 darab dengan yang modulus 1.1 times 10 power 11 so what you get awak akan dapat 8.92 kali 10 kuasa negatif 5 so this is the equation for uh, strain which is F over AY and then solution dia uh, untuk wire 1 and wire 2 ok so kita pergi pula untuk soalan B soalan B dia nak delta L so macam mana kita dapat delta L daripada strain strain equal to uh, delta L per L naught therefore delta L is strain darab dengan L naught ok so ni mereka mulakan hmm. So, untuk wire 1 sama juga kita kena buat 1 by 1 so wire 1 equal to strain L0 strain is 2.68 times 10 power of negative 4 and then L0 yang asal dia adalah 0.2 then elongation dia akan dapat 5.36 kali 10 kuasa negative 5 meter this one is for wire 1 this one wire 2 pula so delta L equal to strain L naught strain is 8.92 kali 10 kuasa negatif 5 darab dengan 0.2 then you get 1.78 times 10 power of negatif 5 meter ok that's it ok the third question target yang modulus and strain energy per unit volume of this wire so if we have stress versus strain macam mana kita nak cari yang modulus yang modulus kita boleh cari daripada gradient so datang daripada yang modulus stress per strain and then medium rearrange equation so this one jadi y equal to mx tambah c so gradient adalah yang modulus so yang modulus equal to gradient equal to y2 tolak y1 per x2 tolak x1 so what is y2 8 and then y1 ni kan uh, baca ni dua titik ni kosong per uh, kali 10 kuasa 7 jangan lupa eh prefix dia and then x dia 4 minus 0 so what do you get sepatutnya you all akan dapat 2 kali 10 kuasa 7 pascal this one is for yang modulus untuk strain energy per volume pula dapat daripada AUG uh, area under the graph which is 1 per 2 darat stress darat strain 1 per 2 stress is 8 kali 10 kuasa 7 strain is 4 then uh, area ni yang berlorik ni lah kan uh, semua tahu kan 
panjang darat lebar so your jawapan was sepatutnya dapat 9.6 times 10 power of 8 unit dia joule per meter per meter per meter ok question number 4 given to us a tank with area so this is area and was filled with water so this is temperature and then other thickness L and also calculate rate for the loss of heat so we are not DQ per DT ok through conduction if temperature of the part 22 degrees Celsius given to us thermal conductivity which is K so dalam syllabus kita ada 3 K spring constant for Hooke's law and then also thermal conductivity dalam topik 8 and then the last one is Boltzmann constant dalam topik 9 so hati-hati jangan tersilap ok so soalan nombor 4 dia nak dq per dt so dq per dt equal to negative wajib ka dt per dx so negative jangan buang eh wajib per negative ka 3.78 times 10 power of negative 2 and then area is 2 kali 1 dt should be 22 tolak 96 mesti ha, kecil tolak besar darab dengan 1 times 10 power of negative 2 so all akan dapat 559.44 joule per second ataupun what ah, mana mana pun boleh ok next question number 5 the volume of mercury in glass bulb 10 degrees Celsius, 0.11 meter, a uh, centimeter cube, and then cross sectional area given what height? So they not hitch. The mercury will rise when the temp room temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. Okay, so so Allah not height. So macam mana? So kita guna equation delta V equal to V not gamma delta T. So what is delta V? Uh, kita kena cari dulu ok so V0 is 0.11 kali 10 kuasa negatif 6 ini medium dah tukar dalam SI unit 0.11 times 10 power of negatif 2 3 kali so dapatlah 0.11 times 10 power of negatif 6 meter cube ok so tarap dengan gamma gamma 1.8 times 10 power of negatif 4 darab dengan delta T delta T will be 27 tolak 10 so you all akan dapat 3.37 kali 10 kuasa negatif 10 meter cube so yang you all cari ni adalah uh, perbezaan volume so volume dia dah bagi uh, cross section area so V equal to area darab dengan height so area is 3.37 kali 10 kuasa negatif 10 area is uh, 0.01 kali 10 kuasa negatif 6 darab dengan H nah, ni medium dah dapat mana ni medium dah convert juga ok so 0.01 kali 10 kuasa negatif 3 2 kali so dapat 0.01 kali 10 kuasa negatif 6 meter square so your H should be 3.37 cm Ok, last but not least, soalan yang terakhir sekali, so 1000 cm cube, so this is V0. Glass thermos was filled with a mercury at 0 degree Celsius, so this is temperature. When the thermos is heated to 100 degree Celsius, 15 cm cube of mercury spill out from the thermos. So, this ni adalah V spill. Ok. So, soalan dia kata, if coefficient of volume expansion uh, for mercury. So, this is gamma mercury. So, calculate the coefficient of linear expansion of thermos. So, dia nak alpha untuk thermos. Okay. So, soalan dia, uh, kita kena pakai konsep spill. Delta V. Uh, delta V ni ataupun uh, V spill lah. Ni adalah V spill. Delta V Mercury tolak Delta V di, uh, Thermos okay. Liquid tolak dengan solid okay. So Delta V So Gamma untuk Mercury Tolak dengan V0 Delta T Tolak uh, Gamma is 3 alpha Untuk Thermos Tolak dengan V0 Delta T So yang ni kita boleh factorizekan dia 
So, spill tadi 15 cm cube. So, kita factorizekan dia. Gamma mercury tolak 3 alpha thermos. Ha, yang ni factorizekan darab dengan 1000 darab dengan delta T 100. So, kenapa 100? 100 minus 0. So, dapat 100 lah kan. So, masukkan value this one. Dah ada. Dalam soalan dah bagi ni. And then, kita dapatlah kita punya alpha. So, alpha for thermos adalah 1.067 times 10 power of negative 5 per degree Celsius. Okay, I think that's a wrap for today. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.